If you ever watched the Winter Olympics, you may have noticed an interesting sport called curling, which looked like a unique combination of bowling and shuffleboard on ice. But to get a better grasp of the Scottish 16th century game, we're here to talk to Nevin from the Florida Panthers Curling Club. Nevin, thank you so much for joining us. Tell us, how did you get involved with the Florida Panthers Curling Club? Oh, well, thanks for having me. We started the club around 2010 during the last Olympics. They bought the equipment here and wanted to run a couple of classes to see how it would go, and it really caught on. There was a bunch of people that were excited about it, and so we came up with the idea of just starting a club. Curling seems like it's a mix of shuffleboard with strategic chess plays. Now, for people like that have no idea what curling is about, tell us about the strategies and the overall the roles of the players. Well, that's a great way to describe it. That's what we tell people. It's similar to shuffleboard, where you're aiming at a target all the way down to the other end of the ice, and similar to chess, too, where you're trying to get your stones in a certain position to try to score points. So um, it's uh, that's really the best way to describe it is, is curling is chess and shuffleboard. Why do you think curling definitely brings out a wide spread of different types of people? Um, that's a good, that's a good question too. I feel like, uh, especially in the Olympics, like it's one of the most popular events in the Olympics, just because it looks like there's just regular people out there playing it, not people that have trained their whole life to run the fastest or jump the highest. Anybody can really get out of the ice and play it. Traditionally, curling is a very proper sport, um, but here uh, we bring a little South Florida style to it. So people are cutting up on the ice and laughing and having a good time out there. There's a, there's a big social element to this, and as well as a sporting element. Definitely to expand on what you just said, what is the overall future hold for the Florida Panthers Curling Club? Oh, well, we'd like to continue building. We'd like to get some more members. We'd like to eventually start hosting some bond spiels or curling tournaments here. And uh, we'd also like to send some more teams out to some of the nationwide and international tournaments. And if people would like more information, where do they have to go? Well, they can come to the Ice Den, definitely to get information here. We have a Facebook page that they can check out. And uh, those are the two best places to find information. The Florida Panthers Curling Club continues to sweep through South Florida, and the only thing that is needed is you. So if you would like more information, go to panthersicedan.com. I'm Andrea Ocampo for Panthers Vision.